Kara. She's one of my lead dogs. Keith San Pietro of Montgomery is a professional musher. He has 22 dogs on his property who he considers his kids. I love to please, make it very easy to work with. Keith trains, races, feeds, breeds, and even gives guided tours with his canines. The sleds he drives, he builds himself just above the dog kennel. There's nothing I enjoy more than being on the back of the sled. Each sled takes about 45 hours to build, and once completed, it's time to let the dogs out. Once these dogs get moving, endorphins are released, and they are hard to stop, especially come race day. We just arrived here at the Burke Sled Dog Dash. It's about 8.45 on Saturday morning. And as you can tell, dogs are howling, getting ready to go. Mushers are waxing up their skis on their sleds, tying up their boots. Teams came from all over the East Coast, including Canada, bringing in all sorts of mixed breeds. Dogs are probably the most efficient animal as far as locomotion is concerned. They can expend almost no energy going at a walk. But professional mushers aren't looking for dogs who can walk. They want dogs who can run. It's, we try them out. They, they, it's tryouts. They need to make the team. When it comes to competitions, lead dogs up front cannot be easily distracted. Wheel dogs can handle the extra workload. And lastly, you have your team dogs for power. Like any sporting event, there is risk and sometimes injury. You might see broken toes, broken toenails. You might see development of fissures on their feet. To train their pups, most people take their dogs out on sleds about three times a week and the occasional race on the weekend. People living further south, like musher and sled builder Edgar Morey, take a different approach. Be on uh, bikes and uh, three-wheel carts, uh, suspension, and we actually do competitions just like this, cross country on dirt. Due to a miscommunication, Maury trained his dogs for a 10-mile race when the distance had actually been 14 miles. At like seven miles today, I started bringing the pace up a little bit, a little more, a little more, and then all of a sudden I turned the corner and realized I was only at the halfway point. We were going to run on fumes, as they would say in racing. <laughs> and nutrition is important when fueling the dog's tanks. Some mushers use basic store-bought food, while others, like Jim Blair, use ground beef, water, and good old maple syrup. Yes, of course. The Vermont dog. What do you think? <laughs> San Pietro decided not to run his dogs in the dash and focus more on spreading his love for the unique sport by giving rides and letting his granddaughters run his own dogs. It's absolutely wonderful. The more kids I can get outside and get away from their Game Boys and their computers, the better off we are. <laughs> and who could resist playing in the snow with a face like this? David Carmichael, News 7, East Burke.